a brand new Traeger Flat Rock is going to In the world of hamburgers, you could say that the Big Mac is iconic. Well, today it gets even more iconic -er because we're smashing the F out of it. And I realize iconic -er is not a word, but it should be. Right, Chance? Yes. Kid will agree with almost anything. He'll certainly agree with anything Max says. I'm secondary to that. I try to remind him it's not called Max behind the camera, it's called Sam the cooking guy. Doesn't seem to hold much weight sometimes. Does it, Chance? Guess not. Guess not. Here we are again. Smash month. Rolls on. Smashes on. Can't wait. We're gonna put seats on our bun because we can. And I could have bought a seated bun, but I like showing you that you can do this. As we did with the granulated onion bits, we put on the smash spicy. So we'll do that. We'll make some uh, Mac-ish sauce. And then we're grinding, grinding, grinding. Short rib for this, only short rib. It's gonna be fantastic. And then we smash, build and eat. Bun first though. All right, the drill goes like this, beaten egg white, Fun. Pretty obvious. The beaten egg white is going to help the seeds stick. So we'll paint all over because we want good coverage. Get it all moistened up. Uh, can you say moist? You can say moistened. You can't say moist, right? Why the hell not? And then we'll take our seeds and we'll pick it up. We want to seed the sides if we can. I like it when there's a lot of seeds. Some are going to fall off. So if you put extra on, beautiful. These guys, they're going to get three minutes in a uh, about a 300 degree oven. But stay right there because we're making a sauce. And we go like this. That would be a little glass bowl. And this would be what's left of my Japanese mayonnaise. Don't worry, there's always more. So we'll just scoop some out, scooch some out. And now I could use ketchup, but I'm not. I'm using this Western style chili sauce that is always one of my favorites. You can see there's little bits of onion and green pepper and stuff in here. It really adds beautiful flavor. A little bit of this fluorescent green, uh, what's this stuff called? Relish, pickle relish. Love it, dill pickle relish, yum. A little white onion, diced up fine. Pinch of salt and pepper, and we mix. Fantastic. By the way, not a commercial, but this stuff in place of ketchup works everywhere in your cooking world. It just has more flavor to it. It's much more interesting. So when you got your sauce set and your bun set, let's uh, make some patties. All right, here we go. See this? These are four pieces of boneless short rib, still with fat. Look, when we grind beef, we like there to be a decent fat component because that gives flavor. You always aim for 15, 20% fat. Well, we might not quite be there. We're, we're pretty close, this will be good. And I have to cut them smaller because they won't go in the tube, but we can turn it on and start grinding. Like this, down you go. And we're there. And see what we've got. I want like two five ounce patties. Five on the nose, thank you. Five on the nose. Gosh, unbelievable. Sauce is made, short rib is ground up. The bun is coming out of the oven, all seated and beautiful. I've got some lettuce behind me. I, only thing left to do, you know what that is, start smashing and cooking and then we're eating. And if we're ready, let's do this. Little oil, little oil. Take our little bowls, <laughs> on they go. And we smash, like this. Gorgeous. Super gorgeous. Salt and pepper. Only one side. We need our buns colored up. So we'll give them a little oil as well. And remember, Big Mac has a center bun. So we'll use a bottom of another one as our center. And now we're just waiting, happily. Don't forget, these guys are gonna shrink way down. Maybe not quite as small as these, but they'll be close. They'll be close. Oh, Jesus, the buns. Perfect. So it needs more on that side. And this guy, little color. Great. Middle piece. Beautiful. Let's cheese, shall we? Let's flip and cheese. We're scraping. We're loosening. Excuse me, Max. Same here. Now we're flipping. That crust, 
it's about that crust because it's about that flavor. They'll shrink up a bit. And if they don't, they'll extend over the sides and we'll be making a, what's that thing you saw, Chance? A Grand Mac? Grand Big Mac. Grand Big Mac. Oh yeah, that's a little bigger. <laughs> but when you smash, you get, it's about the width. So it actually makes sense. And these guys are ready to come off. Anybody? Shall we? Let's do this. We can build and ignore the gardeners next door while we build. Sauce, which by the way I tasted is freaking terrific. It's that Western style chili sauce. Next, you would recognize the need for some lettuce in a Big Mac. And then one of our ridiculously oversized patties. Now our second bun, and we repeat. We do our sauce again. Should be always a lot of sauce. We have lettuce again, then we have our pickles. And we know McDonald's famously gives you, I think, three pickles. Maybe it's different on a Big Mac, but we've not done that. We've done that, which I think is the right thing. So you get a bite, so you get some pickle in every bite. And finally, our last patty. And we recognize not all Big Macs do double cheese. We're not sure why, what the thinking is, but we don't give a shit. We're double cheese guys. Gentlemen, I'm proud of our work here today. It's beautiful. And what the people at home can't see that I will share is that because it's so big, we want to make it look beautiful for a picture. Look what's going on on the backside. It's like the Kardashian of Big Macs. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. There's a lot of junk in the trunk. All right. But it looks amazing. And look at you. If you smash small enough so that it fits the bun, it doesn't seem right. This is right. What will be more right will be the bite I'm about to have. Gotta make it happen. I'm not gonna lie. This tastes a lot like a freaking Big Mac, except maybe better because of the crust that's on here. And that's one of the reasons, maybe the best reason for smashing your, your patties. The crust is flavor, texture, deliciousness. <laughs> it's amazing I'm not a thousand pounds from all the stuff that I get to eat here. Well, a little thanks to the uh, I do at night, but still, kidding, I don't do at night. I don't do Oh, but thanks for hanging out. Smash Month is not over. It goes to the end of the month. Let us know in the comments if there's something you'd like to see. Go to shopsdcg.com because there's good stuff there for you to buy. I'm not going to tell you. You just have to go there and find out for yourself. Jealous. A couple weeks ago, we told you we were gonna give away a Traeger Flat Rock, just like the one behind me. Not the one behind me, a brand new one in a box. And all you have to do is comment below the video and well, today's the day. We're giving it away. Are you ready? A brand new Traeger Flat Rock that you are going to pee yourself, sorry, that you are going to love using as much as we loved it, is going to. Congratulations, reach out to us at info at thecookingguy.com. We'll verify you are you, and then it'll be on its way.